Now, this is also a question of the network analysis. And they have asked, what is the maximum power dissipated in this resistance R? That means, this is basically a question of the network theorems. The maximum power transfer theorem. And for that, you have to calculate the value of the, firstly you have to calculate the value of the resistance for which you will get the maximum power at this R. And that means the first thing you have to do, that means firstly we will calculate the Thevenin equivalent, then only you can proceed with this. Now see, that means the first thing is remove this source and I have to calculate the value of the open circuited voltage and as well as the what is the resistance seen from here because all the, all the network is resistive. And we know the maximum power transfer theorem tells us if you want to transfer the power from source to load, this should be the maximum case. That means this circuit must have to show such type of characteristic. That means you have to choose the value of the RL such that that should be equal to the RTH. Then only you will get. Now, that means after this, what will we do? Replace all the independent sources by their internal impedances. That means the voltage source at the internal resistance of the zero, that means zero ohm, that means short circuit, and the voltage and the current source have the internal resistance of infinity, that means open circuited. Now I will draw here, that means it will get charted, that means the six ohm does not have any meaning. Such type of thing you will get here. And here you will get the open circuit and here this is 5 and that means it is also shorted that means no meaning of this that means this is 5 this is 6 this is 5 and it is shorted again with the 6 that means the 6 does not have any meaning that means you will get something like this 5 and 5 will be in parallel that means if you will see from here both the things are in parallel that means the R TH will be 5 by 2, that is 2.5 ohm. This is the value of the resistance seen from this open circuited terminal. The second thing which we have to calculate, what should be the value of the open circuited voltage? That means I am calculating the value of VTH. Now, how to calculate that? We have studied the source transformation method and here we can apply the source transformation method in this one. That means how my circuit will look like then? My circuit will look like this. It is a 50 volts. This is a 5 ohm. And sorry. You will get something like this and you have to calculate the potential across this terminal. What should be the value here VTH? Here this is 6 volt, 6 ohm and it is 5 ohm, it is 6 into 5 that means 30 volts. That means this practical current source, practical current source means one current source with parallel one resistance. This practical current source has converted into practical voltage source. Here. That means the 5 ohm parallel with the 6 ampere, 30 volt series with 5 ohm. That means this we have done. It is basically open circuited, that means not have to deal, I want the potential with respect to this. I am assuming the current is small i. That means here we know the potential already, that means assign the sign and you will get minus 50. Then minus 6, then minus 30. We will get something like this. Minus 50, minus 6, minus 30 divided by the total resistance is 10. This goes to minus 10, sorry minus i. This minus minus will cancel out and you will get 8.6 is equals to i. Or, it is a basically a memory based question. 
that's why we are not guaranteed that this will be your answer but approach must have to be like this now see whenever you got this you got this i that means whenever i will multiply with this how much i will get the potential here i want to calculate that means 8.6 into 5 that will be the potential here and 8.5 volt 0 43 volt 43.0 you will get that means here the potential is something like this plus minus 43 because the current is 8.6 ampere and the resistance is 5 now see i will start from 0 0 increment minus to plus that means i will get upside with the 50 volt then downside plus to minus with the 43 that means here the potential will be 7 volts with respect to ground that means the vth will be 7 volts and this is a smart approach if you want to apply the kvl in case you can apply the case here here and there But I will never use that. Now see, the VTH is seven volt. Now what will I do? I will redraw the circuit with the Thevenin theorem. I know any bigger circuit can be replaced with one voltage source with series one resistance across this. This is my this terminal. The value of VTH is seven volt. And RTH is two point five ohm. And from the maximum power transfer theorem, I know if I want to transfer maximum power from the seven volt to this load, this value of the load should be equal to this RTH. That means here the value will be two point five ohm. That means I have to calculate what is the power here. That means I know the power is. Power is seven divided by five. Total resistance this, and the power is I square into R. That means forty nine divided by twenty five into two point five. I square into R. That means four point nine. You will get something. Yes, four point nine watt, or if you want to apply the formula directly, the power P max will be V T H square divided by four into R T H. Same thing you will get. The V T H is seven, seven square forty nine divided by four into R T H is two point five. Now see, forty nine divided by two point five into four. That means ten. That means answer is four point nine watts. That means either touch your ear like this or like this. Things will remain same. If you want to apply the formula, formula you can apply. If you want to go with the method, you can go. All the things you have in your pocket, you just have to pick the right one. 